Computer vision is important field and it is getting very much involved with robotics and autonomous systems specifically. Tesla's self-driving major behavior is through computer vision. OpenCV is very popular in dealing with images and videos. In this lecture, we are going to be looking into how computer vision tasks can be involved in ROS2 using OpenCV. Whenever you are working with real world cameras, it is a three step process. First, you need to set up image source video feed. The second one is calibrating the camera. Third one is performing image processing. So here on the screen, we have two nodes, image publisher and image subscriber. Both of these are of ROS2 in Python. Interesting thing is when you are working with ROS2, you will find out that this is description of things. And this is the point where camera is read. It takes the video at zeroth index. This can be any other as well. Then it goes to the card timer callback and it does one important thing that it is reading the image or the video feed using OpenCV as we can see. So OpenCV message is converted into ROS message which is then published. It is not directly publishing image from OpenCV read source. When you are subscribing it is going to first convert the ROS message to OpenCV format then apply image processing techniques and then display it. So now comes the point what is the index and how to find it. So let me show you this command that is ls dev then video and star press enter show me all possible video feed sources that you have on our system we have video 0 1 2 which ones to select start from 0 then go to 1 then go to 2 that's how you select it but what if there is a package to do all of this we have a package opencv underscore cam and this package is quite interesting. It uses OpenCV, takes the image and displays it and publishes it directly. So when you're getting started, this one is quite helpful. These are the installation procedures that are explained. Just clone these two OpenCV cam and ROS2 shade, which I already have done. Let me show you. In my workspace, I have this OpenCV and ROS2 shade. There are other packages as well, but these two are what they said to clone you must have open cv as well then perform call can build on your system and then you can run these command to access the video feed let's try to run them if i just click upon it i have to source my installation then i run this command it is going to say cannot open device zero the problem here is it is accessing the video zero that is why it is not working so what if I want to find out there are arguments as we have in the next command. How can we change this? Remember we want to make things simple. So first of all we need to find out ROS2 param list which tells us all of the available ROS2 params. We have frame ID, camera image. Interesting one is the index of which the value we have to change. So we are just going to write the same command with ROS args and we will call it the parameter that we want to change and this equal one press enter and now it has started publishing although the calibration is not there so this error is given if you want to see what this camera is doing ros2 run rqt image view rqt image view this is another package that is now going to show the video that i am recording this video and we can see the image from my laptop's camera. So what was the benefit? You directly cloned the package and tested your camera very quickly. Let's now move to calibration. In this command, ROS2 run OpenCV node is OpenCV cam main. There are some arguments that remap the topic name and you are going to use parameter named as OpenCV cam params.yaml. These params are calibration parameters and they are very common in computer vision. They are of this syntax that they are some DKRP width, height, camera matrix, distortion rectification and projection. These are some physical properties and some computational properties for the camera to deal with correction of the view that camera is capturing. How do we actually perform calibration? We install a package named as image pipeline, sudo apt get install ros humble image pipeline. Press enter and you are going to install it. I already have that. This package contains multiple image processing and image pipeline building. 
calibration is one part of it we are now going to go into camera calibration wiki tutorial from nav to open navigation here it provides some other camera calibration we are directly going to the steps what to follow there are some description as well now this is the command that i will be running press enter provide this command let's remove this thing we don't want to remap before ross args i am going to supply an argument provided here that what pattern you are going to be using for calibration i will be using chessboard the print on a paper that i have is a chessboard and press enter it is going to take some time by checking service camera and camera left and camera right once that is done this bar is going to appear but it also requires the camera to be publishing right now it is not so i'll get this command so first enable the camera that we did earlier now on the next we are going to write this as well as provide no service check so it directly opens up the camera no service check and the topic is going to be image raw as we can find out from here raw to topic list it's on image raw press enter and this is now going to open up my camera and this is our calibration process that first we are going to move in front of it then we're going to perform left and right then up and down now you might be saying that it is not working at all although i have the checkboard in front of it but no sample is being taken there are many reasons for it the first reason is to find out what size that you are using what is the actual measurement of each box on your pattern is in my case size of the checkbox and there are some parameters to fix that now if we take a look at these you can see we have a size of 7 by 9 as it is explained here what is 7 the order is rows and columns we have 7 rows and 9 columns and when you are counting these you are going to count all of these rows and when you are counting the columns you are not going to count the first column that makes these 9s and these to be 7 and they give you instructions that move to this angle tilt it and then move up and down to save the samples and calibrate at this point if i rerun it you can see that the patterns are drawn the samples are being taken it is taking the samples and uh, the good practice for it is to be having a flat surface behind this checkboard so you can easily hold it and keep it straight which is very essential once you see the calibration button go green you can press upon it it is going to start the calibration and you can then perform save and save this file into your system so you can utilize this camera being calibrated and utilize it somewhere else so you can download the camera calibration parameters here we can see all of the details are written as well wrote the camera calibration to this now we are going to follow the steps given by this wiki page and they are to find it and extract it first so we'll go using terminal cd into temp and tar xvf calibration.tar.z press enter and we are going to then go into calibration once you get this you can get this out or i would recommend get this tar.z out so move dot calibration this to your home to your ROS to workspace let's go into ROS2 workspace and there perform the same command so we can see the things as well ROS2 workspace and here we have all of the images that are utilized for calibration important things are this yaml file that contains all of the image height and width and parameters OpenCV and ROS2 are two powerful things but they are totally distinct ROS2 is bigger than OpenCV as we have discussed. In ROS2, we have a benefit that we can generate different different environments and using ROS2 communication, we can involve OpenCV and create a lot of learning perspectives for ourselves, for AI perspective of computer vision, for geometric computer vision and specifically we can test multiple geometry as we have depth cameras and a lot of different sensors. So the combination of both of these is amazing.